this is about to be a boring show, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, isn't there, um, you know, um, Amanda Bynes? You remember yes. the show? Uh, Didn't she? Amanda, 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 show. Remember? Didn't she have a show called The Girls' Room? Uh, Come on, remember they were in the bathroom, they were like, welcome to The Girls' Room. Amber. I, I'm sorry, I I'm can't trying help to, you. like, feel, cause you're not, you're not helping me. I just said I can't, I'm sorry. So listen, because I feel like in that show, they had two Ambers. Okay, somebody help me. Does anybody know the Amber show? Bad Girls Club Amber show. That's where it was. There were two yes, Ambers, right? Yes, I knew I somewhere there were two Ambers in TV that I've watched. Okay, Lydia held it down. Yes, yeah. you remember. And they had their own show, right? Yeah. Remember they're like, welcome to the Amber show. Uh -huh. So they were stupid. I'm Amber. And I'm Amber. And I'm Amber. <laughs> And they were their own alliance, and they just like fought everybody and mm -hmm. started drama. There's and I was, drama. it was so petty. I was petty all the way girls. here for it. I was here for all the bad girl drama. Okay, I wasn't always safe, you know people. Bad girl club? Oh yeah, I bad girls club. Kim used to watch it. Oh, I was gonna say. Oh snap! Oh look, flavor play. That was my college days. We used to bitch on that. Oh. New York. Oh gosh, oh, New York. New York, New York is the. Oh, I'm gonna call that you that delicious. I remember when he named her. Oh, uh, what was that girl's what name? Pumpkin. Um, it wasn't pumpkin. I think it was pumpkin. The white girl, right? Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Yeah, she was gonna kill her. <laughs> I forgot about her. Pumpkin. I'm called pumpkin. Oh yeah, and they kept replaying that episode. Oh my, and you saw the the hawk. It was disgusting. She was nasty. Oh, what, wasn't oh, she a finalist? Nasty. Did she go down to like the bottom three or something? Oh, the the top three? Or something like that. Pumpkin. Why do I remember this? She, <laughs> she got off though before before New York. Oh my one? gosh. Ow! Oh, so yes, this is what we got going on, y'all. We have brunch and we got homemade chicken and waffles. The waffles oh, it's not <laughs> over here. <laughs> Okay, chicken and waffles. Yeah. Chicken and waffles. I have never had homemade chicken and waffles before, so this is about to be an experience. And I made a honey mustard dip. I egg. can't wait. Oh, she made a little honey mustard dip. Let me get a close up. Oh, yeah. you see a little honey mustard dip oh, right you're gonna there. Edit this, you're not going to show my Woo, face. Woo, girl. <laughs> nope, all, all footage is final. <laughs> I just like, I'm going to kill you. We're not friends anymore. <laughs> Yes, look at this chicken. This is Lydia. She's a chicken extraordinaire. Don't don't, don't call me that. <laughs> what? Kim season. Kim season. Why you say season. don't call you that? You sounded so offended. <laughs> Why are you so mad? Y'all be putting me on the spot. And then everybody said, is don't ever <laughs> compliment me and my chicken. Ever. <laughs> Dang. You're upset? Okay. I no, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay. What you think about Lydia? <laughs> These are my people, y'all. Okay, so let me introduce y'all to the vlog. No, not now. I'm watching the same one. So, you should know by now that this is Amber. Okay. Yay! Okay. This is Lydia. I love her. Woo! This is Kim Beanzo. You already know, holding it down. In the kitchen. Wait, how you say it in the um? How you say kitchen in Spanish? La cocina. I'm gonna edit that part. In the la cocina. <laughs> in the la cocina. Oh Do you already know? She said in the la cocina. That's the new translation. That's the slang these days. All right, so inquiring minds want to know how was the chicken and waffles? Bam. That's how it was. You see? This is what the plate looks like. That's my plate. I went in for extras. These are the chefs right here. Killing it on the griddle in the frying pan. <laughs> Yes, I see. I see your handles with that waffle iron, sis. 
I see you. Hey. You're seen. Hi. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Yo. Oh my God. Won't he do it? Yes, he will. Dun no. That song. We're not gonna jump I in because y'all know I don't know the rest of the words. If anybody else tries, like, if I, if I try singing it. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is the song that you just listened to. This is the song you just. Hold up, is that subliminal to me? Look what you're trying to say! I'm you see how you just came in trying to slide in and play me? I was a, what I'm the a heck? Kid. She's like, well, this isn't about, this goes right back to that Oprah video. Y'all seen the Oprah video that's circulating? No. With the, y'all haven't seen the Oprah video? With the, um, the, she's eating food, this lady came on to cook food. <laughs> And Oprah took a bite of it. Y'all haven't seen it? And she be mad. All right, it. nah, y'all gotta see this video in order to get it. Oprah no, meat without See, so now they watched the video. They should have had so some that, black people that was Was it a healthy all? dish option? Like, was it, what, what, so then, wait, did this video even say, did, did you see her go? No, this video cut it off. So the original one I saw, she um she tasted it and was like and said you know did you add salt and pepper and then like the lady's like do you like it just say yes just say yes right so then she's like no okay and she said that stuff then there was another part where she took the chicken and like swooped it into the side dish and she said you know what it tastes real good with the spinach real good with the spinach and the cheese <laughs> to try to like make up for it <laughs> oh my god so yeah she tried to like really recover she tried to recover it Nah, but see, that's what I was saying when I was just singing the song, and you're like, <laughs> that was Oprah doing the follow-up video to, to Sabuli make it worse. Like, you saying, you know, that song is for that girl to sing. <laughs> that's what it reminded me of. No, 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 I'm saying that's what it reminded me of, so that's what was funny. But, nah, yo, I said the same thing. I was like, how are you gonna give, Oprah is a billion dollars. How are you gonna give a billion dollars chicken with no salt and pepper? That is the basic foundation. We're not even talking adobo. We ain't talking seasoning salt. We ain't talking. What, to we're not talking all this if stuff. It's my meal. It's my meal. It's part of some kind of a healthy. But salt. You option. Absolutely, you know salt and pepper is healthy. That's inhumane. Probably to, her, probably to her beliefs, but like to serve somebody chicken without salt and pepper, not even warm though. Not even That's no. true. That is Daniel no, fast food. No, that is chicken, Daniel fast. No. Oh yeah, you wouldn't even have chicken on Daniel fast. Word. It's still all to Ada. No man, all to Ada. She all to Ada. Turn the camera off. I'll say. She ain't trying to be transparent like Oprah today. <laughs> How did she get on her show? How did she get on her show? <laughs> oh my gosh, I already know what the chicken tastes like. Yo. Like cardboard. Okay, no salt and pepper. And how is that? How do you make chicken without no salt and pepper? What do you put on it? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> she put some kind of broth, and that was it. It was like Nobel Prize this is, chicken. This is in a her. word because if Ooh, she could make preach. it in the food industry, preach, preach. you know, I think I could make it somewhere. <laughs> She was the preceptor to Trump being president. She made it on Oprah with not one to, uh, bottle of seasoning. We need to get out here with our dishes and we need to make things happen. The word says walk by faith and not by sight. That's what she did and got you on Oprah. Miracle work, promise keep light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Chapati, right? This is samosa. No, samosas. Chapati oh my god. Like, I mean, 
Yes. Paul, it's been I, that long since I've been around yes, the Kenyan so, food that I'm forgetting names. I feel so bad. I know that one you used to love. Yes, you yes. So sure yes. Guys, this is my dear brother. Yes. This is my dear brother, Paul, who created and made this wonderful food for us. And this is an avocado, banana, what smoothie? Blackberry smoothie. <laughs> Woo! Everything, everything good for your soul, for your heart, and your mind in this smoothie. And I cannot wait. Oh. <laughs> Hallelujah. This is my brother, Paul. Say hi, Hallelujah. Paul. Hallelujah. Yay. This is my sister, Enrica. Yes. Mama Fish has made it here with the big Jeep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about my new car. <laughs> yeah. God bless you, Paul. Yeah, Guys who watched my God. testimony video, yeah. this was the man who God filled with the Holy oh, Spirit, the with the God. anointing of healing, who God healed me through. Glory Hallelujah! Glory. Jesus! Hallelujah! Glory. Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. God is so good. I'm so grateful for this. It's going to be Jesus. yummy. Hallelujah. Yay! <laughs> Woo! This is the Kenyan Thanksgiving, y'all. <laughs> I know you're jealous and you wish you were here. <laughs> this is how we throw down. This is, used to be every week. We have a feast at Paul's house. Prayer and feast. Like, we get the word, the bread of the word, and then the actual bread. <laughs> no food before you get the word. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That's how he always does it. Dish out the word, then dish out the physical bread. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here we have this is called chapati, mm -hmm. which is very common across lots of different nations. Mm -hmm. This it's a flat type of bread. There's mm -hmm. some in America. I don't know, did the panini originate in America? Panini? Mm -hmm. It's actually. Pa panini? Chapati. Yeah, chapati. Yeah. Market, you can so he brought out, down. okay, he wants y'all to see it, what it looks like before it's broken. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. This flatbread um, in Caribbean, we have something similar called roti. Okay. So it's just so cool to, when you look at food and can see how different cultures connect. And then this is samosas, which I don't think I said earlier, mm -hmm. filled with, what's this filled with? Uh, ground beef. Yes. That is potatoes. And that is potatoes. Mm -hmm. He's anointed to cook, y'all. <laughs> He's anointed to cook. Amen. And then there's chicken and lentils. Oh, let's... Golden brown chicken. Golden. Look at you. <laughs> You're like, get the title right. <laughs> it's golden brown chicken. Yes, golden brown chicken. Oh my gosh. And what did you say about chicken? That once you have your uh, set of chicken, you're good for like, your, chicken, you get your feast of my chicken. My chicken requirements now are fulfilled for the next six months. <laughs> it's chicken requirements. Credits are paid. <laughs> yeah. Your father is not about eating chicken every day, like, like the rest of us. He has, once in six months mm -hmm. or, you know, four months, you know. Once in six months. And he's, he's Gucci. <laughs> when he does sometimes you'll cook fish a lot mm -hmm. yeah I used to cook fish like after our prayer meeting so Paul is the one Paul is the one that when I first got saved um, and was going to church we were attending the same church and we um, God put it on his heart to start prayer nights right mm -hmm. so you started prayer nights he was i was in undergrad at the time and he was a grad student so you would do prayer nights for the church to come and pray and sometimes it would just be me there mm -hmm. like i was so hungry to learn about god and just so thirsty and just like everything was so new to me and i just wanted to know this Jesus Christ and be in the presence of prayer. Mm -hmm. So I remember just like Friday nights was the night that we would do prayer and I'd be going there and I mean winter time when it's fall like whatever we'd be there and then we walk and leave church and go to the bus stop and you know take the bus up the street or whatever and it was just so powerful just to see the move of God that would happen when two or three are gathered like it does not matter how many people are there because we've seen some miraculous things of God happen with just the two 
two of us or another person there and God used that to then grow it for other young people to start coming to and, and just seeing moves of God and deliverances. Paul, you remember the, the, the deliverances that mm-hmm. were happening? And testimony. <clears throat> and testimonies. Mm-hmm. Like secrets that people had in their hearts. Oh my gosh. So like my testimony of healing that I shared, I went through that completely by myself so I was diagnosed in 2011 if you have not watched my testimony video please go and watch it um and in 2013 was healed and the fall of 2013 we were having a prayer meeting and the power of God fell so much and had you talk about the importance of testimony and Paul always says and I tell this to so many people so this is the man that you know I got it from right here my brother Hallelujah. He always says our testimony is the first gospel. If you don't know one scripture, you know your testimony and you can preach the word of God of your life to somebody because that's the gospel of what Christ has done in your life. So God was having him to share that and share the importance of releasing it and releasing any foothold the enemy could have in your life by Mm -hmm. keeping those secrets because that means you still have shame Mm -hmm. regarding that even though you're free from it. When you when you speak it, you putting it in light and Jesus is light. Amen. So he was sharing that and I felt so convicted because in my mind, I was gonna go to the grave with my testimony, to be honest. You know what I mean? Like I was just like, okay. Good, like I don't have to tell anybody I'm healed, like amen. Um, but then he said that, and I felt so convicted. Like, I have to, I, there's if I can't say something, that means there's still shame, mm-hmm. that means the enemy still has a foothold in my life, and I don't want him to have anything in my life. Amen. So, that was the night that I went and, and told, like, you know, my best friend, my sister Lydia, that same night, and it took me. Y'all don't understand how good God is for me to even share this video publicly. And, you know, Paul didn't even know how God used him (laughs) until I shared the video with him five years later. He didn't know, you know, so he's still just kind of like taking in what God really did because he didn't even know. Um, And but yeah, so just to be in that place of so scared to talk and but I knew God was having me to open my mouth and speak and I sat there and me and Lydia Mm -hmm. I was like I have to tell you something like I have to confess to you Mm -hmm. and she didn't know what about what we had only been friends for like a little less than a year at that time Mm -hmm. um but I just knew I had to tell her and I was sat, sat sitting on that couch for about 20 minutes just like crying because I didn't want to say anything, but I knew I mm-hmm. had to, to be free, to be fully mm-hmm. free. So just an encouragement, like if you have a testimony, um, and, and he was encouraging us to share our testimonies within the prayer meetings, but then he said, if it's something that you, you don't feel comfortable sharing in front of everybody, find one person that you are Comf- confident in mm-hmm. that you can trust somebody who's maybe of the same gender who Amen. you can confide in and share with them what God has done in your life or what you're struggling with like Amen. what is what is it that you need to get off a secret maybe maybe it's something that um, you dealt with in your past maybe mm-hmm. in your childhood that nobody knows but God wants to heal you from it but he can't heal you until it's confessed so just just do that, you know, Amen. be set free. Don't let the enemy have any footholds in your life. Like everything God can use for his glory. Amen. So I just pray that if that's you, that you will find somebody who you can trust and confide in guy Hallelujah. or girl. Glory. Hallelujah. Girls to girls, guys with guys, Amen. you know, and, and, and watch God really move in your life and set you free. Amen. Praise God. So yes, that little bread with the bread. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Bread with the bread. Bread Paul, do you have anything to add? Well, I think I bless God for the great things that he has done. Yes. And for the humble, you know, uh, what he deposited in my life to share with you and all the friends that we were with at that time. Yes. You know, it was very challenging to always come and pray Mm -hmm. (laughs) every Friday. Yeah. I remember when he started, I used to be there all alone. And, you know, Mm -hmm. when you started coming, that was a real big encouragement. And uh, I remember Sister Sherry used also to be with us. Yes. It used to be the three of us. And it used to be very powerful in Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we used to walk sometimes when it's summer and just talk about the goodness of God and Mm -hmm. share the goodness of God. 
but I did not know this bit of what God did. Yes. I'll be having you sharing the next time in Bible study on Thursday mm -hmm. that God had uh, healed you, but the specifics, the details. So mm -hmm. I said, okay, God did it, and you know, glory to God. But mm. when you share the testimony and the goodness of God and uh, the details, I think that, you know, um, blessed my heart so much. Man. And I believe that that same anointing that flowed and got into your life to do that work is in your life and God is going to bring it forth to help a lot of people. Hallelujah. And as you've been telling me that these videos um, has really caused a lot of people to, you know, uh, contact you, to connect with you, yeah. to know more about your story or even just to thank God for what he did in your life yeah and um, that just speaks to the power of testimony which you just shared that uh, just one testimony alone can affect so many people's yes. lives just as the woman who was at the well her mm. testimony changed the whole city so you know our testimonies you know are things that we cannot just we can't leave them aside as we go along with the gospel mm. and uh, as we go along with the gospel and even the preaching of the gospel has, has to be part of our life what we're experiencing in life has to be part of what we preach mm. because the life is uh, complex and it's broad so we can't just go into the word of god minus our lives so our life has to be part and you know parcel of the word of god Hallelujah. the past life that we had people say forget about the past but the past is so important because the past is what God did to bring us into the present we yes, have now. Yes, yes. And you see that God is telling the children of Israel that they cannot forget what he did for them on that night of deliverance, mm. to deliver them from the land of bondage. They could not forget, and that's why over Passover they had to eat bitter herbs to remind them of the bitter things that God had delivered them from. Wow. And they were commanded to do that, and they keep it until to the, today. So there are things that God do in our lives and the more we, you know, we keep focus and replay them in our lives, it gives us faith that really God loved us Hallelujah. and God can do greater things in our lives. Yes. It started from this point and we have it in our sight that this is what God did and we keep sharing it. You know, God is going to still, you know, take us to greater testimonies. Hallelujah. Even from the point of salvation, there are greater and greater testimonies of great and mighty things that God is going to do through our lives, in our lives, use our lives to bless other people. For. Yes. And therefore, I know and I pray that that anointing of healing, yes. may God continue to increase it in your life. Okay. And may this testimony continue, you know, affecting a lot of people, not only even within the borders of the U.S., but mm. worldwide, you know. Yes, Let Jesus. God connect, you know, use this testimony to touch people who are sick, you know, Jesus. people who are hopeless yeah. you know, about their condition, medication, people who have reached, they have gotten all the medical, you know, uh, diagnosis, prognosis, all the things that they, they can do, mm. but they still don't have any hope of healing. Let them use this testimony as a point of contact to receive their healing, to receive their deliverance, mm. and to know that Jesus came to heal. You Hallelujah. Know, and uh, the healing power of Jesus is still alive. Yes. You can live from January to December without any sickness and disease, and if by any mistake a sickness and a disease shows up, then you can arise in the power of the anointing of healing of God and challenge that sickness and disease Hallelujah. by faith. So we are not helpless. God never placed us here that if we fail to get help from the medical profession and, you know, hospitals and doctors, which we thank God for, we are hopeless. But we have hope in God that in Him we have healing. Amen. He's the Balm of Gilead, is the Jehovah Rapha, the mighty healer and uh, we hold on to him and we have to hold on to these truths before the sickness shows up so that our faith is strong to mm. fight the sickness when mm. it shows up so with all that Amen. Enrica, god bless you Amen. and i pray that your ministry be great and greater and greatest greatest <laughs> touch as many as god will bring hallelujah Promise keep light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are, yeah, yeah. We make a miracle work, promise keep light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are, yeah, that is who you are, oh, oh. that is who you are. Oh
Hi, Hannah. <laughs> what do you have to say? Hey, what's up? This is my friend Hannah, guys. Say hi to the vlog. Hi, vlog. I'll say vlog. 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 <laughs> It's a video vlog. God bless Aww. you guys. Aren't you the cutest little <laughs> Christian girls loving Jesus? Aww, that's so sweet. What did you guys just get done doing? Down uh, the street. What'd you do? They haven't gone yet. They went, in, oh, they went I thought, to church and practiced. I thought they had to. Oh, okay. So what are you about to go do? Caroline. Woohoo! What are you going to sing? Jingle Bell. Can we get a little taste of it right now, like a five second sample? Okay, you guys got it. Huh? Ready? Come on, Natalia, what are you doing? If you're being shy for a camera, what are you going to do when they open the door? Oh, what happened to the song? <laughs> yeah. What about, I thought you were doing Silent Night. Silent Night, Holy Night, All is cold, all is right, From yon virgin father and child, Holy in the snow and tender and light. This woman, Aww. she's a wonderful Aww. sister in the Lord. That's Josh. Hi, top Josh, Hi, who Josh. wants to be like LeVar Ball. What's his name? <laughs> Lamal Ball? Yeah, both of either one. <laughs> either one. I don't know their names. That's Elf Cass. something. He swears watch? that's who he is. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he's actually on the enemy's team, but <laughs> we'll let it slide. Right. Pastor, you were <laughs> rapping a team that I heard through text that I was a little like, oh, shady. What team? LeBron went to. Oh, I'm always a Laker fan. Pastor. LeBron James. You're, LeBron James. You're so LeBron fake. James. <laughs> you gave LeBron James put on a Laker jersey. I fell in love with him. You're fake. Oh. I fell in love with him. You're so fake. As long as you're along the Lakers, you're good. Oh my gosh. So fake. Okay, everybody, we're going to pray and then just help yourself for whatever. Yay. Okay. Let's pray. Let's family time. Let's pray. Family prayer. Come on, Chaz. Dear Jesus, thank you for this day, for this food, for the good service you. Plates, and then let's see this grub. We got corn. We got pasta. We got chicken pot pie. Ooh. Oh, look at this pretty girl. Look at this pretty girl. Look Pretty girl. <laughs> Chaz, Natalia said you wanted to be on camera. You want to be on my vlog? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so Today, Chaz so performed so a solo nice. in the Christmas play. How did you feel about it? <laughs> oh my gosh. What did he say? How did you feel about it? Yeah. 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 Um, oh, what was it like preparing for oh, your? Big debut. Oh. Uh, kind of like nerve wracking. Yeah. Uh -huh. But did Jesus help you? Yeah. Yes, he did. <laughs> and you love the Lord. Yeah. You are I'm such a little awesome. man of God, and I love it. Yeah. Keep seeking Jesus, Chaz. Yeah. God bless you. Oh my gosh, everybody remember? Well, if you haven't, on my channel there's a video called Why Worship. And this beautiful young lady collabs with me on that video. Hi, Abby. Hi. <laughs> so yeah, she's making a little second appearance here on the channel. And she loves music. And she sings. You may or may not have seen her caroling or singing Jingle Bells a second ago. Because I don't know where I'm going to put this clip. 
This is her sidekick, Natalia. <laughs> Yay! Did you know that we made a video, Natalia? Abby was on my channel and she talked about worship and she talked about why it was important and she shared two songs that she wrote herself. You wrote songs, Abby? I didn't know what. Yes, she writes music. I do too. Do you still come up with songs? Mm-hmm. I, I have a Christmas one. Oh, you do? Yeah, you and Jerilyn used to come up with songs, right? And there was someone yeah. else at your school. I'm and Ronnie Menorah. There's yeah. seats out here, you guys. Full seats up here. Whose plate is that? Unknown. They said that there's not enough room out here. There's room out here, you guys. There's room. Let's sit like one big there happy family. Like I don't see songs that I've heard. Ooh, what's one of them? He is living water and he is the reason why it's Christmas season. She wrote those? Is this your phone? Wow. You look yeah. right Wait, there was one that you said you wrote when it's you were five or something? Yeah, I, I was like, Exit, exit the room of the devil. Oh, oh yeah. Exit, exit, exit the room of the devil. <laughs> yeah. Exit, exit, exit the room of the devil. So crazy. How powerful is that for a five-year-old? I know I wasn't doing that when I was five. What were you doing when you were five? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. She was like nine. Jesus! <laughs> it's memories, guys. <laughs> it's like, you know, family home videos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You guys, so you guys are like, you I'm guys are my family. You do better. Hi, Josh. <laughs> Look at those dimples! He's so cute! Josh, don't oh, hide! Let them stunt on, stunt on the YouTube for them. Let them see you. Let them see them dimples. Let them see. Let them see you, man. Let them see that beautiful face. That GQ, man. He's getting so red. <laughs> Literally a peek into how I'm going to be as a mom. So, my future teenagers, sorry. <laughs> sorry in advance, but I'm really going to bother you because you're so cute. What do you have to say, girl? She's just staring at you, just watching you. What are you saying? That's it. <laughs> She's like too much pressure now. <laughs> oh. A cheer for us. Do a I cheer. Am? Yeah. Do a cheer. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Come on. Nelly, what do you play? Oh wow, diversion. Wow, yeah, Leah. You just ball. gonna curve us like that? Oh yeah, I play basketball. You just gonna curve us like that? Sure am. All right, just you don't have to physically do the moves. Just sing the song. How does it go? I want to learn. Be aggressive. Be easy. Okay, hello. Who you saying hello to? to me because I know that's how it goes. Hello to who? The hello. opponent opposing H team? Surprise and surprise sharing. Oh, I know. Say that. Let's go. If there's ice cream there, you guys. Okay. Stand up. 
<laughs> okay. So, your colors. <laughs> Show. Do you think you're gonna out of them? Black. Black. I'm leaving. Green, black, white. Your favorite team is here. Wait, I'm You got it, girl. We are the best. The one. The only, the P A T S. Wow! So the Pats? You guys are called the. You guys are called the Pats? The Pats, all that. Woo! Church. Oh, the church. What do they play? Basketball? Oh, okay. I didn't know churches had cheerleading. That's what's up.